And now, CBS 21 Sports with Jason Bristow. Well, the York Revolution wants a shot at defending that championship, and that's great. But after being outside tonight, I wish the Revs were playing for a spot in the Caribbean World Series. York's magic number down to two to win the division. Number of layers on folks up to four. York playing a doubleheader against Bridgeport in the fifth. Leading off Vince Harrison. Sounding off Vince Harrison. Solo blast and York is now in front 2-1. Three batters later it's Scott Grimes. Pass shortstop. The single scores Lou Rodriguez as he will come in. Grimes hit for the cycle tonight. Then two batters later, it's Ramon Castro digging in and delivering off the wall. Grimes comes in 4 one York Revolution wins game one eight to two over Bridgeport. As for game two, well, it's still going, but it doesn't really matter. Lancaster lost to Camden eight to one. So the Revolution wins the second half title. How about the Phillies playing a day night doubleheader with Florida Philly won the first one Cliff Lee was starting game two and Cliff Cliff was cruising in the eighth getting the strike out here. Oh that was nasty 11th K of the game. He had retired 10 in a row then in the ninth Florida down to its final strike and the Marlins strike back Jose Lopez to left and out. We are now tied at one heading to extras Cliff couldn't believe it but he liked this Ryan Howard. Golf in one left center Michael Martinez was on he is coming in with the winning run Phillies win 2 1 in the nightcap the magic number to win the NL East is now down to two we have Phillies baseball tomorrow and Saturday the Redbirds the St. Louis Cardinals are in town you can see Friday's game on my 21 2 Saturday's matchup is on the CW CW 15 and here's a future Florida Marlin Pete Andrelzik from Mannheim Township. This video is from three years ago, right after he was drafted. Well, now Pete is on the verge of the big leagues. He pitched in AAA this year, and today, well, I can tell you today, he was named to Team USA and will pitch next month in the Pan Am Games in Mexico. And Darren Gorski from Donegal has picked up another award. He has been named the Mets Minor League Pitcher of the Year. We caught up with Darren back in 2009 at Kutztown University. This season, he was 11 and 3 for the Mets team in a ball. Well, the man in this next story has a lot of fight in him, and that's good because what was inside him almost killed him. But thanks to a sport, an incredible procedure, and a lot of heart, he has bounced back like any world champion should. Yes, he's lost a step, but Grant Morrill knows it could be a lot worse. He's 74 and still swinging, lunging, and chasing after a tiny rubber ball, a ball his life revolves around. It's just fun. It's just fun to be able to come out, come out here. It's also fun because when he's not playing racquetball at Central Penn Fitness Center, he's also teaching it. Not bad for a guy who picked up the game late in life. Actually, very late, at 55. And look at all those medals. He's won nine state titles, three national championships, even two world titles. And he'd have even more from playing, but life gave him no choice but to quit. It, it was sort of like, uh, you know, you're not going to last six months if you don't do something. That's what doctors told Grant when they finally discovered he had lymphoplasmacytic lymphoma, a rare form of cancer. He hadn't been feeling well, and in December of 07, he was given a potentially lethal dose of chemo. His bone marrow was then drawn out of his body, incubated, and essentially cleaned and then reinserted. He was in a hospital for 26 days, in pain, his body wasting away because he couldn't eat, while his racquetball buddies played on. He was missed. It was a sad, it was a sad occasion. And we never thought, or I never thought, that he would be able to, to play again. But here he is, on the outside, still swinging, and on the inside, cancer-free. You know, at times I'll sit and, and look at those pitches all by myself, and I'll actually get a tear, you know, thinking, you know, what a miracle it was to go through that much pain and, and to make it. And going through all that, Grant admits he has lost a step, but he has gained so much more, a second chance at playing and living. And what was very interesting, Grant told me, for a long time, doctors did not know what was wrong with him. And that was very frustrating. Yeah. But again, through all that pain, he is now feeling so much better. He's teaching, he's playing, and what a story, what a miracle. A miracle. Mm -hmm. Good for him. Yeah. Thank you, Jason. We'll be right back.
You're watching CBS 21 News, your station for breaking news.